And to say that the next episode has begun, welcome back to Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. I'm your host, Mission of Vista Video Games, a second commentary. Last left off, we were going up against Blackwell, and uh, he keeps kicking our butts, is what he does. So without further ado, I don't know what voice I'm doing right now. Maybe I should give a character to this voice at some point. Anyway, I admit it does. It is out that he had to create this other persona. Just to secretly participate in the anti-merger movement. There you stood of you, you boldness. Right, now take a look at this. Blackmail letter. If you value your dearest life, you will merge to Nine Tailsville with Timotown. This blackmail letter was found in Alderman Q's pocket. By the way, what? Uh, by the way. Actually, you know, I, I, I do have a question about that. You know, I gave Blackwell an English accent, and I gave, like, I gave Bobby Fulbright a slight southern accent, despite the fact that he probably doesn't actually have that accent, but no one said anything about that, did they? Oh, okay, you guys are just friggin' just anti-UK. I see, I see the anti- I was about to say anti-Semitism, that's not the right word to use. I see the anti-Englishness. I, I see what you guys are doing. You guys, you guys just can't accept change. That's, that's all there is to it. <laughs> At present, the alderman's wife is in the hospital. And that led is clear evidence the mayor was blackmailing him by the threatening of life. Wait, did the blackmailer send to Mayor Tim go missing? Right after the alderman's murder? You think Mayor the Killer took the letter from the mayor after the murder? And planted it into the alderman's pocket? It's possible, but we don't have any proof that that's what happened. Talk about being up the creek without a paddle. Blackmailer added to the court record. A threatening letter to some... Um, a threatening, a threatening letter discovered in one of Alderman Cubie's pockets. Alrighty then. Mayor Tim would have made a clean getaway if he just left after playing the Yulkai things. But he was knocked out by out cold by a sudden decision to kill the Amazing Ninetales. So it was the Amazing Ninetales counterattack that brought the entire crime to light. Wait a sec. Fulbright's claim that the mayor killed the Alderman after playing the Yulkai evidence. After planning the evidence, huh? And that the mayor was knocked out cold immediately after that. Let's look at all this again. So let's see. I think that it's why we don't have any for this. Killer took the letter from the mayor after the. The killer took the letter from the mayor after the murder and planted it in the alderman's pocket. Okay. Mayor Timo would would have made a clean getaway if he just left after playing the Yolkai things. But he was knocked out cold by a sudden decision to kill the Amazing Ninetales. So it was the Amazing Ninetales counterattack that brought the entire crime to light. The mayor killed the orderman after playing the Yolkai evidence. Oh, hold on, what is? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And he said, uh, and that mayor, and that the mayor is knocked out cold immediately after that. Detective Fulbright, please add your previous statement to your testimony. Mayor Tim killed the sleeping orderman after playing the feathers and tracks. As per usual, whenever, whenever we get a new statement, we always save. Sure, it's not really necessary in this game, but I don't care. You know what? Like, like I said, like I said, you know, those cocoa puffs, man, they sound, they they, they taste pretty good. Mayor Tim, Mayor Tim, you're allowed to throw around this. So let me get this straight. You believe the mayor planted you okay if it's before the murder, not after? Absolutely. And then he was knocked out cold by the alderman's last punch. He wouldn't, he wouldn't have had a chance to plant the evidence after that. Hmm. Something's not right here. Hard to believe that a stiff, humorless man like the mayor could be behind such a stunt. Uh, uh, we have to do something with Paul before they pin it on the mayor! Then we're, then we're gonna need to prove that the mayor Timma didn't plant that Yulkai stuff. How are we supposed to do that? <laughs> it's so easy. Oh, it probably is easy, but I don't have I don't have any idea right now. I'm gonna need to go over here. Kill the sleeping orderman after playing the feathers and tracks. Okay, so let's look at everything. After planting the feathers and tracks is what he said, eh? Okay. Okay, so none of this is... Okay, well, actually, let's let's, let's see. Foolishly chose it to pick. Is there a second rate? It never hurts to... If, like, flat out just missing evidence when I set, when I set out of the scene of the crime. Boost Dinks is courage. Soaring through the air. Nine tails... Wait, hold on. What did it say? Found only in Nine Tails Vale. Okay, that's going to be important for later on, I, be I believe. Let's look at this. Hmm. No, I don't think that's going to really be useful. Wrapped in large cloth. The second thing is that statue has traced the blood in the defendant's Damien Tama on it. It was apparently wrapped in large cloth in which the defense blood was f was also found. No figures could be left from the cloth. 
Okay. I'll follow the fox chamber. There are bloody prints and black feathers scattered on top of the blood. This is probably what we're gonna need to present, right? Hmm. What about this is odd exactly? Exactly. Hmm. Oh, by the way, there's the there, you can see the cloth down there on the on the bottom left, or not the bottom left, but like the top left. I suppose like right next to uh, Alderman Cubie's like right foot. Anyway, um, hmm. So the murder was made, and the feathers. Okay, well, if that were the case, then why is the blood under the feathers, eh? Am I looking too hard into this? Let's try it. Detective Fulbright, your sense of justice is anything but fair. What's this? You dare question my justice again? Yes, and I'm going to prove it to you. Take a look at this photo. This is a crime scene photo, and just what does this prove? It proves when the feathers and tracks were planted. But I already told you they were planted before the murder. The defendant planted the Yorkai evidence, then he was knocked out while killing his victim. But that would be impossible. If you look right here, it's clear when the feathers and tracks were left at the scene. Okay, let's go, uh, oh, no, 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 go right here, right here. Let's go right here. Will this be good? I think so. Aren't you just pointing to the Yorkai feathers and tracks, Mr. Justice? Yes, see how the feathers are on top of the blood, and the tracks are made in blood? In other words, the Yorkai evidence could have only resulted after the murder. Then the mayor must have planted the evidence after killing the alderman! But you said it yourself, the mayor had been knocked unconscious thereafter. There would have been no time for him to plant any evidence at all, therefore. There must have been someone else besides the mayor and the alderman at the crime scene. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm sorry. Like, what? Apologize. Apologize. The objection is freaking OP. I'm sorry. Anyway, um. Oh, that must have. There must have been some mistake. Order, order. That's an interesting animation. I don't think we've ever actually seen like the judge, like outside of this game. I don't think we've ever seen like the judge actually hammer. Like, like, there have been, like, th like every time that the judge smacked his hammer, it would always zoom into, like, the gavel. But, like, outside of this game, I don't think we've ever seen, like, the, like a full-body picture of the judge using his gavel. Anyway. Where's your evidence? You can't possibly have any, can you? Ha 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 I'm sorry, Fulbright. You lost this one. Evidence? Oh, I have evidence. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we do. In fact, I have an eyewitness testimony for you. Oh, okay. You do? But how? Oh no, was my bonded sense of justice really just half-baked? He's taking this really hard! Hmm, Mr. Justice, what is this testimony regarding a third party that you claim to have? I have it right here, Your Honor. It's a sworn testament of Miss, Mr. Tinma's daughter. The witness, Jinkty Tinma, saw Yuoka in the hallway after stumbling upon the scene. It was the, dem it was the demon, Tinma Tuttle. He is the source of those feathers and tracks. Will somebody please say something? The defense will explain to the court exactly what he means. You... You dare to mock this court and justice itself? You're unfit to bear your name, boy! Your boldness, it appears our defense attorney here is delirious from exhaustion. Apollo! Think of something quick before you're held in contempt of court! What do you think I'm trying to do? Before you decide whether I should step down, please, hear me out. Hear me out? Why would he be put in contempt of court for that? Like... Like, I mean, like, in, in, like, in comparison, in, um, in comparison to everything else that's happened, this is the thing that gets put in contempt of court? Really? Really? Well, Mr. Justice, now I'm all ears, but you had better explain yourself well. What was this Yolka you were talking about? It's all in this statement here. Jinxie Tim asserts that she saw Tim a total. 
After she discovered the crime scene and called the police, she came around a corner in the hall. It was around here. That she saw Tim Atoto fleeing, fleeing toward the foyer. The defense asserts that who, whoever was imperson impersonating that monster is the one who left those feathers and tracks behind, intentionally or otherwise. Hold on. Oh, no! Hold on. No, okay, no, it's not. For a second! Okay, so everyone gets their own objection theme, but like the like pursuit theme and everything is the same. Aw, oh, man, I like to pull as a um, pursuit, um, object. Yeah, pursuit theme. What? How incredibly unjust! Why haven't I heard about this before? That's a vicious brother of someone else! So the mayor isn't the killer? Was it all a setup? The prosecutor is a convicted feller after all! Apollo! The momentum has shifted in our favor! Good. Now let's keep it that way. Objection! Objection! <laughs> okay, force Blackwell. Hmm. <laughs> Later do you realize... That, th that there you are in the midst of a fray. Your sword is broken. Oh, my sword. I didn't know I had one to break. I imply there's a problem with my t with my claim. Consider this: if that yokai impersonator had indeed fled to the foyer, that fool and that fop, fop, isn't that no? Okay, I think of something else. Fop would have would have would have seen him. Full and fop. Oh, you mean Filch and LaBelle. Hmm, now that you mention it. Both Phineas Filch and Florent LaBelle were in the foyer at the time. But they haven't stated that they saw a yokai, have they? Did you, did you ever consider that yokai was but a figment of a scared little girl's imagination? Uh, why didn't those two see the Tem the Tem a total impersonator pass by? Because they're lying! Why else? Why don't we ask them ourselves? I was just about to say that myself. No, really, I was. The defense would like to call Mr. Phineas Filch, caretaker of QB manager, the stand. I just know he he must have some, he must have seen something. Hmm. I suppose we can't ignore the fact that the little girl believes she saw a monster. I trust you have no objections to the Mr. Justice Justice's request, Prosecutor Blackwell. I understand that Mr. Filch is enjoying a nap out in the lobby. I knew that. I knew that Tony Q was a rare find. But when we captured him, I didn't think he'd end up a, end up a witness. Deal with him as you will. Did he just call, did he just say captured? No, wait. I don't want to know. Very well then, bailiff. Please go wake Mr. Filch and escort him to the witness stand. Will the witness state his name and occupation, please? The name's Filch, Phineas Filch, caretaker of QB Manor. Oh, and, uh, this is for you, your lordship. Just a little something I thought you might like. Oh my, what a fabulous pair of shoes. Those are Fulbrights. And your honor will do just fine, Mr. Filch. Oh, by the way, I completely forgot about this. Um, so, in the previous recording session during the investigation scene, like, uh, like um, Fulbright was missing his shoes, right? And, like, I very... And like they're like, oh, how could you not? Why aren't you wearing your shoes? You're gone. What's going on? And I very clearly pointed out that there was a Genkong at the front of the whatchamacallit, So he took off his shoes. He took his he took off his shoes because he wasn't really supposed to be wearing them. And someone is like, well, if that's the case. Someone in the someone asked like, well, if that's the case. What's it like in the Japanese version? Well, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to go back and look that up. I completely forgot to look it up, but yeah, because like. Yeah, like, the thing is, he wasn't wearing shoes because there was a Genkon nearby, so that's not that's not exactly super, I guess. I don't know, anyway. Oh my! Yeah, those are Fulbrights, by the way. Ah! It's those shoes again! Um! Don't they belong to Detective Fulbright? Don't tell me Filch stole them again! They're all yours, Your Ownership, sir! Your Ownership, sir! What? But they seem awfully expensive! So I guess Fulbright on like gumshoe is rich, huh? Yep, too expensive for me, but I reckon they'd be perfect for someone like your your ownership. Hmm. It's a kind gesture, but legal ethics dictate I can't accept such gifts. That is true, I was thinking about that. Oh, ethics Smith, they just take them if you want them. Polish them up real nice for you too. 
I'm sorry about the shoes, Mr. Filch, but I will accept your testimony. There we go. Put your gavel down, detective or judge. The court would like to hear whether you saw Timotoro in the foyer after the murder. Witness testimony. All right, full arm, um, full bright. Guarding the foyer. At the time of the murder, I was on guard duty in the foyer, just like Mr. Cuby asked. I was making sure no one, fair, foul, fishy, or otherwise, could get to our guest. I was still in my office keeping a good watch when the murder happened after 3 p.m. But I didn't say nothing out of the ordinary, no siree! Okay, that's the one we're gonna have to press, or present evidence to. That yokai you keep jabbing on about was a buff phantom of Logo's dreams. So. You're telling this court you never saw anyone dressed up like Timotuddle? Yep, I was gone the whole time. That's the truth. The holy truth and nut, nut or butter. Nut, nut or butter the truth. I guess not everyone's going to understand that. Like, nut or butter, it's, a, it's like a brand. It's like a snack thing. It's like peanut butter and it's like peanut butter cracker things. And Timotuddle? Bah, you don't really believe in all that yokai mumble jumble, do ya? Do ya? I certainly don't. Hey, oh. Okay, so this is, hmm, yeah, so this is the one time that we're going to be doing it outside of, because this, was, this wasn't a witness testimony, was it? No, yes it was, it was a witness testimony. My bracelet, it's... Something the matter, Apollo? My bracelet keeps squeezing my arm. Really? So you think Mr. Tanuki, uh, I mean, Filch, has been lying to us? I didn't rule it out. Now... If I could just zero in on a tell, on a tell, some sort of nervous habit. This is a pretty big nervous habit, all these considered. Yeah, dog! Ah! What in the? What? That was not expecting Blackwell's freaking bird to attack us. What's a hawk doing in here? You might say, "How did I know that he had a hawk?" I see. I saw pictures. Allow me to introduce you. Introduce my trusty cohort, Taka. Oh, Taka. That'll be a random. Taka in Japanese means hawk. Like, it literally means hawk. So, yeah, um, like, there is the, um, there's the Japanese uh, phrase, tobiga takoumi. <clears throat> the intonation is a bit weird on that. Tobiga takoumi. So, tobi, mi, tobi is like a kite, but it's not like, so it literally, it means the kite gave birth to the hawk. Now, when they say kite, they don't mean like, you know, like, oh, you know, Sunday, like, Saturday, Sunday morning picnic with like a kite flying in the air, like, like fabric, a piece of fabric attached to a string in the air. No, like a kite is a type of bird of prey, actually. And what it means is like, it's like a child, it's a, it's like a noble child born from like humble parents. So like, let's say you had ordinary parents and they had a child who became like a rich person. At least that's how, at least that's how I believe it is. But yeah, Taka. So Tobi ga Taka umi, and Taka is, um, uh, it's a hawk, right? That's, yeah, that's it. Anyway. So, just the, if you're someone who speaks Japanese, just seeing that is kind of like, wow. Like, it, it, like, Hawk. That is the most creative name in the world. <laughs> anyway. And that made to introduce my trusty cohort, Taka. He seems to have taken quite a liking to the courthouse. Made it his new home, in fact. I'm going, I'm not, do, I'm, he's not, he doesn't exactly sound Cockney anymore in certain instances. That's, that's not exactly Cockney. That sounds more like... I was gonna say like Liverpool, but I don't think is that I don't think that's exactly a Liverpool accent. You might say what's a Liverpool accent? Like uh, I don't think I can do Liverpool accent. It's the kind of it. Like I I, I really can't. That, that that doesn't sound Liverpool like at all. I don't know. I can only really do like Cockney and posh. I'm sorry. Excuse me. He doesn't live with you. You know he doesn't live with you. You know in jail. Who's ever heard of a courthouse bird? Doctor simply lose trickery and fraud. And that queer power of yours seems to have offended my dear boss and buzzard. This isn't some sort of trick or... Ah! I won't be able to spot squat like this. What's going on around here? Run for the hills! No pets or other animals allowed in the courtroom. Okay, Taka, attack, attack him. Ah! ah! Somebody help! <laughs> oh. He's merely having a bit of sport. He won't harm you, save when truly famished. <laughs> anyway, Aquapuzzy gets the next episode.